This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Most who spoke out against the feds, well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit and the lies when they saw it. I know. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. A broadcast. A front van. Moving from town to town. In the days before the roads came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. No, Cope, the cemeteries are filled with freakers, not martyrs. And you had to keep moving, because if anyone had found your unmarked band, they'd have blown it to hell. Just so we wouldn't have to listen to your bullshit Radio Free Oregon. Get off of her! Goddamn freaks, get away from her! Bring them all down on me. There really better be something in here with all this trouble. Micro recorder, hello. Another Nero injector. Good. Hmm. Oh, always had trouble concentrating.
I smell a nest. Get me right here. That's the last nest. Should make it safer to ride through here now. Are you there? Yeah, Dee. I took care of it. Alvarez, I mean. Thanks, brother. She'd do the same for us. Yeah, she would have. I didn't think I'd see you around so much. Hey, is that all you need? Freaks ain't gonna mess with you now. All right. See ya. Jesus, Deke. You hear what's happening? Black choppers. The feds are still flying. Can you believe that shit? Wait, what? What are you talking about? No, Cope won't shut up about it. He says it proves what he has been saying from the start, that the feds are behind this whole mess. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All that conspiracy shit. You think he's right? Copeland right about anything? No. But listen to me. Uh, if you see a black chopper, a Nero helicopter, you let me know, okay? Yeah, sure, Deke. Whatever you say. Yippers. Bring some bounties in. Hey, thanks. I'll uh, see you later. That's all I got today. Like I said, that hey, how you doing? How's it going? Hey, Manny. 
Gonna get the gate. Yo, you need a refuel? Oh yeah, that's a good piece. Cool. Need anything else? I'll refuel you. Nice and good. <laughs> as sleek as ever, man. Alright, see you, D. Damn it. What are you waiting to jump me? Huh? Hey, 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 it's okay. Hey, hey, it's not safe out here in the shit. I know where there's a camp that... Where? Where? I'll go! I'll go! Peaceful Lake. Mark Copeland. It's safe there. Thank you so much! I thought I was gonna die in there! Name's Deacon. They know who I am. Keep your head down and run!
What the hell happened here? Well, wonder if they left anything worth the effort. Open up. Don't got all day. Open the gate. Hey, we don't want any trouble. Look, someone bagged a deer. What else they need? Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. Hey, Tuck. So, am I on your trust list or no?
What do you need? Hey there. Stuff's getting scarce. See ya. Later. What do you want? Hey, I'm gonna look around. I keep telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry, even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's got to get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, we get Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al! Are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alkai. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig? You want me out there in the shit? Chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long has it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. I can't breathe. <laughs> Jesus. Keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs, damn right we keep burning. Try using more gasoline. Burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. 
The rest are here, hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You, get your ass back to work. Don't make me go get Cyrus. Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Forks, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, talk, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. What do you need? Hey, just taking a look. Hey, uh, I haven't seen Boozer around much lately. Yeah, he's around. I guess he's just been doing more work for Copeland lately. You tell him I said get off his ass and do some work for me. Yeah, I'll let him know. Sure. See ya. I think we're gonna run out. Best not to ask questions. Okay. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped a ripper camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if he'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Now, why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. What else can I do for you? Come by if you still need something. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. To work. Get to work. We can't head north until we get better gear. Tucker it is. 
Hey, Tuck. You get my drugs from Leon? Yeah. Yeah, Cope wanted me to sell to him, but uh, I know who my friends are. Huh, you got that right. Go see Alki. I heard Larson brought in a stash of shotguns and rifles. Maybe he's got something you can use. Get back to work. Hey, back to work. Hey, no, 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 don't. Uh, I'm getting to work. What is with you? No! Damn it! Stop! Stop! Knock it off! Hey, I'm gonna look around. Work hard, the lead you be. How you doing? Okay. Need supplies, Something. weapons. All right, I see how it is. See you around. Hey, what's happening? Need. That right there, good piece. Powerful. Good shot. You'll like this one. Here you go. Here for your bike? Loser. Where the hell aren't you in your damn bunk? I couldn't sleep. You remember what I said back in the tunnel? Don't go out there, Nate. It's, it's making you crazy. Loser, I... Okay, look. I go up there because there's freaks up there. I kill them here, I kill them there. Bounties are all the same to me. Then what are the two ones for, huh? I saw them, Deke. Here on the table. This morning. Same one she had at the wedding. I remember. I'm not gonna... Listen, Boozer, get some rest. I gotta go. Deacon out. I'm the Tulip's Boozer, there's stone crop. Get it right. That's one of these murdering sons and bitches. St. John, stop by the hot springs when you can. Tucker, I hear you. St. John out. Was that? One 
one down. How many of you are left, huh? I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Let's see. Someone there. You're murdering sons of bitches. You like to set up ambushes, yeah? I heard something. <sighs> Something's <am> here. <laughs> Tucker to Deacon St. John. Are you listening? I talked to al the other day. Something There's another one. I got you now, I know asshole. what the new one runs for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. 
Yeah, it's clear. Now you know how it feels being on the other end of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Where did you hide your bunker, huh? I know you got one. St. John, this is Tucker. Like I said before, I haven't seen Boozer's sweet face around these last few days. You sure he's all right? This is Deacon. Boozer's fine. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son of a bitch Mark Copeland, no doubt. I get the feeling he doesn't like me much. Boozer, I mean. Like I said, I ain't his old lady. Deacon out. Here's the hatch. Yeah, knew you had one. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Many of you probably don't remember the Cold War. But living through it was a special kind of hell. Every time you heard a plane flying overhead, you'd think for sure that this is it. That's the one coming to drop the big one on us. And we lived through the Red Scare. Man didn't know if his neighbor was an American who bled red, white, and blue, or a communist red to the bone. Oh. Made it hard to trust. My father, God rest him, taught me the only way to be safe in dark times was to go underground. Built my first bunker with him. But we couldn't build it out in the backyard. With a neighbor spying. Had to go out into the woods. A ways from the road. Where no one would happen upon it. With a bunker. You knew that if the country went to hell in a handbasket. You could open that manhole cover. <laughs> climb down the ladder and you'd be safe. With your radio. 
radio and your hoard of food and ammo. Things haven't changed. Better to dig a bunker than an early grave. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, Cope? How'd that work out for the poor bastards who own the one that I just cleared out? Huh? Not so good, I'm guessing. Since they're a can of fuel. Hey, let me in. It's deep. Let him in. Hey, what do you need? Hey, how's it going? There you go. See ya. Deke, you ever ride with a drifter, scars all over his face, carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo? Don't know him. He came into camp yesterday to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell Alki about that? He beat a man, Deke, and a woman, to death, Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in, you couldn't tell it was her. Hewitt. Maria, right? Jesus. This asshole, Limbo, he's a local. Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service watchtower on the east slope of Three Finger Jack. Yep, I know where it is and, uh, I'll handle it. I thought you might. <laughs> <laughs> 